Hey everybody, we are live. How is everyone doing? You probably just got to see the Marvel intro right there. New intro, Julio's in the chat, Andrew's in the chat. We got a bunch of people visiting right now. Julio and Andrew both took, it's, it seems so long ago. Andrew was actually one of the first people to be in this Stat 201 experience right here. We see Peyton, we see Wilson, we see Sanjay, we see Jack, we see Noah, we see Alexander, we see all, and if I, <laughs> so the screen's further away, and Andrew, Andrew, you got to tell them in the chat, how blind is Brian? And it looks like we look to be streaming. Good to see everyone. Gussie, Gabriella. Uh, yes, please tell me if I mispronounce your name. Give me a phonetic pronunciation if I make a mistake. I'm making a bunch of mods right here. So this is Stat 201. This is the only class I look forward to. Thank you so much, Caitlin, right there. Caitlin, you are now a mod. So you can talk to each other. You can talk to me. First thing we always do every semester is we start off playing a game of tag on a scale of one to 10, how blind am I, Andrew? I know you mentioned these, there's going to be videos online about the course, will there be live sessions be uploaded to the channel? Yep, these will remain live on the channel afterwards. You, there was three people I think who voted DC. So here's what we're gonna do to start, you ready? Everyone's seeing the chat, the chat is just on fire, it's awesome, I'm so glad to see it. This is what we like to see right here, more Andrews, more Lukes, more Chelsea's, all this amazing. Here's what we're gonna do right now. You ready? And people should start getting points. We're gonna play a game of tag. Everyone who plays the game of tag gets 20 points. Now these points, you can get a total of 500 max a week. And you can see Streamlabs tracks points. Hopefully everyone's at zero, but I think it's just because the stream has started. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed that the points start adding up. We've, it looks fixed. We were able to vote on stuff, we're gonna hope. So with that in mind, Here's how we play the game of tag. If you play the game of tag, you get 20 points. Now you need to write these down while you're taking the lecture. A lot of people put them at the top of their notebook. I wanna see this right now. Here's another 20 pointer. You ready for this before we play tag? Who has their notebook out, notebook out next to them? So who, uh, Preston, do you have your notebook out next to you? Uh, Sydney, John, who has their notebook out next to you? I see a bunch of people saying me that is, oh my gosh, I love the chat. This is awesome. Man, look at that chat go. That's so good right there. Noah and Preston and Ashley and Lewis and Jimmy. I see all this amazingness with the notebooks out. We'll put some more mods later. You just got 20 points right there if you got your notebook out next to you. If you don't have your notebook, <laughs> someone said they're lying. <laughs> I don't have a notebook yet. Gigi, that's all right. We're giving you the 20 points anyways. So we're still giving you those 20 points right here just for responding and interacting. My goal in most classes is to get as many people as I can to the 20 points by getting you to interact with me and to talk. Sarah right there says she has her notebook. That is awesome. So you just got 20 points. Mark it down. Make sure you treat, keep track of your points during lecture. Oh, you'll find that out very soon, Julia. Now here, so you can see how crazy the chat is. I'm really good at watching it. Um, I love streaming. It's tons of fun. Uh, I kind of got this whole like gamer thing. It's, it's tons of fun, three subject notebook. Here's what I need you to do though. When you have a question for me, you have to tag me. So watch this with Dela right there. I'm gonna tag Dela and I'm just gonna do this. Dela sees their name highlighted now. I'm gonna tag Nicole in the chat. Nicole will see their name highlighted. Can I be a mod and Sydney tag me? Of course you can be. You tagged me, you understand how it works. I want you to tag someone else and say hi to them in the chat. I want you to see a name and just tag them and say hello. So don't worry, Morgan, it's not always this fast. This is the first day and we're just having some fun. It will be slower. How do you know we aren't lying? I'm, I'm that good, I know those things. So Sarah, I, <laughs> it's the honor system a little bit. So be tagging people, saying hello to everybody. This is just when the chat goes crazy. We just have a little bit of fun right here with Austin, with Noah, with Julia, with uh, Clar Clarified. Please tell me if I mispronounced your name. Zane, Duncan, everyone saying hey to everybody in the chat. Does everyone understand how tagging people works well right here? Will you reiterate important questions posted in the chat so we don't have to read? Yes, yes. I will reiterate questions as many times as I can. And you can ask me. The chat doesn't always go this fast. I promise you during class, it's a little bit slower. People might be cracking jokes and you can keep your main focus on me. You can also close the chat. I think the chat is tons of fun. People like to engage, interact throughout class. And it usually, people have said, it keeps them entertained. It keeps them uh, interacting with class. Uh, <laughs> Matthew says he can't even spell a name. I like that, Matthew. Okay, right here. Okay. So we played our game of tag, and also we got our notebooks out next to us. You got 20 points. So one of the big questions people keep asking me is, is what are these points and what are they used for? So with these points right here, the biggest thing, let's just show what they're for. The big thing that they're for is you can get points on your final grade. So all this right here, oh, look, Hunter's got five points. Five points. 
You are 1% of the way to a half a point. I, I disappear. This is the realm of no return if I've raised my hand too high. But Hunter's already got five points right here. So your points accumulate. Streamlabs tracks some of them. By watching live, you get points. And you have to stay active in the chat or it deactivates you. And it says like you're not watching because it's not uh, tracking you anymore. But you got this. Let's go. You're already getting points right here. We got people with five points. The longer you watch, the more points you get, the more streams you come to, the more points you get. Everyone is checking their points now. So usually at the start of class and the end of class, a lot of people like to check their points. Look at that. Everyone's like, I got five points. I got five <laughs> I love the chat. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I'm so glad. I hope this is a, is a fun part of your guys' day so far. This is like the fun of class right now, just understanding how it all works. So with this right here, you get these points right here. Now, these Streamlab points are not something you need to track. You do not need to send me this. This is tracked. This is just, it'll be tracked for you. You don't have to do it. The longer in the stream, the more you're interacting. Um, like, I think you have to not interact for like 30 minutes or an hour, but it will eventually mark you as like idle. And I don't think it tracks your points. Don't worry, you don't have to chat every minute. But um, <laughs> thank you so much, Victoria. Says, love the class. I haven't started yet. So do we sign up for stream points? Nope, nope. It's it's all tracked for you. So you can see right here, uh, people are starting to get points because they've reached that threshold of watching long enough. But um, you can see like some people don't have their points yet. Why does exclamation points keep popping up? That is, Nikki, great question. That is the function to check your points. And so since we've only been streaming for a little bit here, people are just starting to get points. At the end of class, people will have way more points. So stay throughout class, watch the class and interact. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Gerard. So how do I see my points? Do the exclamation points function right there and they'll show you points like Kelsey has five points right there. And don't worry, I can see them at the end of the semester. Like if you don't want to display your points, you don't have to. Joseph, you can be a mod. There you go right there. And we'll make more mods at the end of class right here. So. Does everyone understand that the point of this class is to interact? Beyond getting your Streamlab points, you can get points that I give you. Now, I give out a lot of 20 pointers. So if we get 200 points yesterday during the stream, yep, keep those and put it in the thing. That's it, Ashley. You got 200 points and you can get 500 points total for this first week. So does everyone understand this right here? With, thank you so much, Manuel. You can get 500 points max this week. So if people were in yesterday's stream and they got 200 points, that's huge. That's awesome. But don't worry. There's going to be more opportunities. What do you say we just give someone 200 points right now? Why not? Just let's do it for fun, right? Let's say, let's see if you can remember something from the first thing. What state was Brian born in? The first person, I love all the memes. First person to say what state Brian was born in. Where was Brian born? This was in the first Kahoot. Oh, I see New York. Julia got it. Julia's first in New York. Julia, you got 200 points right there. Look at all this. I love it right there. We we have someone, we have someone, a baseball player in the chat played in Texas. I'm, I'm in Texas now. But Julia right there got the 200 points. So I might just do that randomly. You never know. Just a little bit of fun. You've got another 200 points. You can only get a max of 500 a week. So when you fill out the sheet weekly, and this is your job, I'll send out the link again. I think I already sent out one email. When I send out the link, just fill it out each week and be like, I got this many points. It's a little bit of the honor system. I trust you guys, but a little bit of the honor system. So it, it would just be very hard for me to track it. And I've tried semesters where I actually record the points. It's a lot less fun if I have to slow down class. Um, would it, first person, yep, first person right there. And sorry if the chat looks different for you guys. I always try to get the first person. I promise you via my chats for first person I see. And it looks like streamless tracking points. I think just people haven't been in your long to get points. We're gonna make, we're gonna hope everything's working. So with this right here, I throw out points during class. Does everyone understand that Brian will give you points and you need to track these? Does our points from yesterday count? It does K right there, K. So it does. And great job tagging me in these questions. I thought you said it tracks the points. Yes, you do need, so let's make this very clear. Let's write this down so everyone can see. Uh, when Brian shouts out points, shouts out. Oh, you can't see that anyways, it's below. Shouts out points. Two words. <laughs> when Brian shouts out points, you need to track those. You do not need to track or submit Streamlabs. So Streamlabs is the points that you get for watching. And then when I yell out the points, you need to do it. There's other things that you need to track too. The other things that you need to track are if you leave a comment below a video. So this is something, look at that right there. Seth won. Oh, I did. Oh, it's a catching up because so many people have done points. We're destroying Streamlabs. 
Um, <laughs> I am Brian. So right here, we have that you can leave a comment below a video and generally like ask me a question. But if you leave a comment below a video, especially some of our premiere videos, you get 50 points. And then I'm, if you use the tag last week, I asked my students, do you guys remember last week? I asked my students, if you didn't, let's just see that intro again. Leave your business analytics questions below and I'll respond quickly or in the next episode of Louisiana. There we go. Last week, I asked my students right there. Um, <laughs> thanks, Aaron. And so I can make it so I don't appear next time on that. But with this right here, you can leave a comment on a video. Um, with this, you get 50 points. Does everyone understand that? And I'll post this so you can see and you can remember. Another thing you can get 50 points for is attending a live event. There will be cahoots and there'll be video premieres. You are not required to do anything. You're not even required to come to class. But I really feel that students who come to Cahoots, who watch live, they do better. And we're just using those to review. Um, you can log in on any account. Just make sure to use a consistent one. And if you use one with a name I don't know, just go ahead and tell me. I think we overwhelmed Streamlabs. So glad Presley you like that. Here, let's make Presley a mod and let's make Lauren a mod. So let's take some questions here just for a moment, because right now we're just trying to understand what is this class? What the heck is going on? What have you done, Brian? This is college? What? What is, what is this? What is this? So is it possible to break streamers? I don't know. We tried. We tried. You bet, Andrew. Andrew's not mod. What other questions? So <laughs> Barbara, thank you, Barbara. Bless him. <laughs> Your favorite class, Shelby. So thank you so much. I still don't know how to download the jump. Oh, we'll and we'll put that in the chat here. We'll make sure we'll go over downloading jump here soon. Do we get like the 50 points from the yep, you get the points from that too. And just make sure to include that those are the ones you submit to me. Ryan wants to be a mod. Awesome. And we are we're positive here. Uh this summer the students dubbed us Stat Nation. And also tag me if you have a question. Remember to tag stat201. It really lets me see instantaneously that you're asking a question. Do, yep, you get those 50 points. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, go ahead and tack that on for doing that. How do I move the live to the chat next to the video, not below? Uh, you can increase or decrease your screen size. Um, what does being a mod mean? It means you can remove things if people post bad things in the chat. We are live on YouTube. So if someone posts something that's like, hey, we don't want people posting that, we can hide them. We don't respond to them. You don't respond to the trolls. You just hide them, you block them, you say, go away. Um, and let's see more questions. What is a mod? Does that help explain what a mod is? I might even put out a video on like what a mod is. It's a really great question. And, uh, what games do you play? Uh, we've been playing, uh, Overcooked. Um, I've been playing Undermine. It's a new roguelite and, um, personal YouTube account. <laughs> yeah. It's okay to use a personal YouTube account. Yeah. And so, um, you can't troll. <laughs> you can't troll. <laughs> Don't troll us. Uh, we went over this yesterday. What was the difference between Canvas homework and my Pearson homework? Uh, so there's the canvas might let me say this and then here we'll do that in assignments if i don't mention that andrew let me go into specifics um i'll do it in a moment when we get to the syllabus wait how do we get the 50 points caitlin you know what i'm giving you 50 points for just asking that make sure to write that down be like 50 points um do we keep track of the 50 yep you keep track of the 50 and so this would not be attending something you know what i'll let you put down 50 for attending these so I'll let you put down 50 for attending these lives, but still try to attend the other stuff live too. But I want to be as generous. My goal with these points, if you can't tell and you get the 50 for attending that Kahoot, um, my goal with these points is that you get as many points as possible. And I see good stuff Richard's asking about the first assignment too. Um, okay, we'll have to look in that. You might have to email me that, K. Okay? So I think people understand what's going on with the points. Does everyone understand that Streamlabs is starting to add up points? Do we need to know what each point's for? Nope. You need, great question, Megan. Megan, I'm throwing you 50 points for asking that. Some people do that. You don't need to. Um, it would be a lot for me to go back and track that. You don't need to do that. And you can you can kind of tra keep track of your points yourself and just submit them through the Google Sheet. And then I will add them up like at each test. I don't. I wait a while to add them up. And I can physically add them to your Streamlab points so you can check them. Is it possible to get more than 5,000 points? What happens if we do? Uh, it is possible and who knows, uh, I try to keep it maxed at two points and let's go over a few. We got another few great questions here. Can we do full screen and be on the chat at the same time? Uh, maybe you can do like, 
Some people use two devices. Andrew, if you're still in the chat, Andrew would use his phone to chat and then he'd put it on his TV. So Andrew would watch the class on his TV and then use his phone to chat. It, he sent it to me the first day of class and he's like, I love this. I'm just watching live on TV. Um, you keep track of everything but stream ups. Real great job right there. Let's make you mod right there. And let me see a few more questions. Uh, let me scroll back up. Uh, what do these points do? They're up to two points on your final grade. My head is blocking that right now. Um, what are mu bucks? They are what Streamlabs tracks for your points. Where's the Google Sheet? I'll resend it out. Uh, we sent it through announcement. How do we get points and see them? Uh, you get points by being in the chat and just interacting at least every 30 minutes, I think it is. So as long as you're active. So we get 50 if you watch for being live, correct? If we track our own points, how do you know we're being honest? I trust, I trust you. I trust you. You're sending out another group Google form, right? Yep, I'll send it. And if you don't see it, just remind me um, and I'll send it to you. When we Google ship, you send out track points. Is it weekly? Put your points in weekly. That's correct. My Discord says the idea is invalid. I'll resend the link tonight. How to mute auto chat for stream, from Streamlabs? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the auto chat, the Streamlabs bot. I don't think it can be muted. I'm sorry. Usually everyone's not checking their points till the end of class or start of class. Let's try to make it a thing too. So. Check your points either at the start or at the end of class, and that way Streamlabs won't won't go crazy. Um, where do we see them? I am also confused. Which things specifically? So the mu bucks and the ones we send you add together at the end of the semester. That's correct. Mu bucks and Streamlab points add together, so everything adds together at the end. So we do just count you count the points I shout out. Will we get points for the first Kahoot? You get fifty points for attending the first Kahoot live. Do you also post the video links on Canvas? Actually, it's stored in a playlist. So you'll see this video is in a playlist and you can go back and watch it. Is YouTube or Discord better to stream on? Uh, I like streaming on YouTube and we use Discord for our community. So confirm we get 50 points for being here today. Just for being here, you get 50. Can we comment on each video for 50 points? You can, and you can only get a max of 50 and you can only do one comment a week. You can only do one comment a week. So you can't go and do 10 comments on a video. There's a limit of one comment a week. Uh, I think a few more questions right here. Great questions. So many, I love the questions. Is there an easier way to sort between important stats questions and other chat? Um, not that I know of Andrew, sorry. How do you check your points? Exclamation mark points. Am I missing something? My screen just says stat tool on UTK. Read it, I'm not sure. I've never seen a more fun layout for a class. Can be fun. Thank you, Zach. Is it possible for us to lose points? <laughs> no, no, you can't lose points. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. So is it normal for my computer to not allow me to log in on Google use chat? Oh, you don't know. Email me about that and we'll get it fixed. How often and when are the coots? Every Friday. What is the difference between channel and Discord? We stream class on YouTube and Discord's like our community thing where you can go and ask questions of each other and I'll meet there for office hours some too. When do I start counting my points? As soon as I shout them out. So uh, Her Harina, you get... 50 points right there. Let's just do that in your mod. If I mispronounce your name, please tell me. Uh, is there any specific schedule for what we're covering on what days? Yeah, we go in order and I can send out, I think we. I'll send out a schedule on that clarified. Definitely, should we send in our points on Friday? That sounds excellent, send your points on Friday. So we have all like 70 points right now for tag for being here right, that is correct. What do we use the Discord for? To interact with myself and other students is basically a group me. Let's, and then I'll take a few more questions right here. So many questions, awesome. Can you talk about Pearson? We'll do that in the uh, thing. Uh, we're going to get a PS5. We'll do that when we go over the syllabus here in just a second. What's the best way for students to, to succeed in the class? What are your expectations? I think that's a good transition question right there. Uh, Grace Tucker wants to know what mu bucks are. Mu bucks are what give you bonus in the class. Mu bucks are part of your bonus. And if you get 5,000 points, you get two points on your overall grade. Friday Cahoots are at, are they at five? I think, yeah, Shelby points that out. I love it. I've tried Risk It Rain. What time is a Friday Cahoots? 5 p.m. I believe. I think I'm scheduled five. Uh, if we don't report Streamlab points, then what is the point of doing? Oh, it will. No, no, those track, those add on. Do we need to be logged? You don't need to be logged in. You can use whatever account you want. Do Pearson, do, sorry, do Pearson assignments show up on Canvas? Yes. Let's hop over to the syllabus. So many great questions. I don't think I've ever had that many questions. So uh, they occur Friday at 5 p.m. And then, yeah, <laughs> you get the mega points every once in a while. Uh, but what percent for the points on Canvas for final grade when we get put into Canvas? This is up to 2% for bonus points. Uh, it's 500 max weekly. You can only put in 500 points in the sheet weekly. So should we use our own UTK? You can use your own or your personal or even another name. So with that, can you send out invites to Discord again later tonight? You got it. Okay. Is everybody ready to start talking about the class? Wow. I think it's a record for how many questions I've got. And I'm so excited. How many how many people do we have watching right now? Let's go over the assignments and the due date and my Pearson. Let's do all of that right now. It might be 
you are still lost, we will we will start talking about the class and we will start making sense of it. So let's start talking about the class. Is everybody ready here? I'm gonna bring up the syllabus and we will start talking about the class. So let's get into some specifics right here. And I'm gonna switch screens right here. So two seconds. Let's hop over to the main screen right here and take a look. Remember to tag me if you have a question. Um, oh, we are gonna have tons of it. So we have an SI leader coming in. So, okay, so we're gonna go a little more structured right now. I love all the questions. Make sure if I didn't answer your question to email me at bstevens at utk. Thank you for the transition. Shout out right there. Here's my email right there. It's also on the screen. Please take down my email. Now here's one of the most important things. I'm gonna give everyone, I'm gonna give you 50 points for this. It's a big thing. I want you to put this in the chat. What I want you to put in the chat right now is the proper email title to email me with. The proper email title, is everyone ready? So, oh, you're welcome. So you're welcome there, Catherine. Is stat 201, and then your initials, those are my initials, and then title here. If, uh, if anyone's emailed me yet, you'll notice, oh, Charlie knows it right there. And so use this format right here. This helps me. You don't have to put your initials if you don't want. If you don't want to put your initials in chat, you can just put initials. Just make sure you put your initials in the email so you don't have to if you don't want. But um, put your initials. You can just use your first two um, or your last <laughs> middle. What is it? The outside. I don't know. what My initials are BS. I'm Brian Stevens. Some people laugh at that. I have no idea why. So I, I don't know. They laugh and I say, what is funny? I'm BS. So <laughs> I'm done. Um, with that in mind, uh, email me in this format. What this does is it instantly alerts me to your email. Does that make sense? I know that you are emailing me and I know that you're in my class. I know you have a question. <laughs> Crack me out right there in the chat, uh, Gerard. So if you're noticing right there, use that format. That is how I can reply quickly and easily to emails. So it really helps me. I'll still email you back fast. I might remind you and be like, hey, if you could you know, use this format right here. So with that, I know the chat is awesome. I love it. I love it. People know what's going on. If you're watching the chat, you know how to email me. The class is live on YouTube. We also have our Discord server. I'll be sending out the Discord server uh, link again. I'll send it out via the Canvas announcements. And once again, make sure to stay very, very, I know that's my uh, chancellor picture when I got there. So anyways, <laughs> they, they were like, hey, you want your picture? And I was like, that's awesome. So um, please uh, email me and tell me uh, what you have questions about, and I'll respond to you as quickly as possible. So with this in mind right here, and so, yep, just make sure if we, you know, mods can, if, and if, if something were happen, if you are blocked on the channel for some reason, please tell me, and we do stay positive here, remember we stay on track, we stay positive, we stay a strong, good, awesome community. So everything right here, <laughs> you guys are cracking me up in the chat. So with this in mind right here, let's go to... We have our playlist link right here. So the playlist link is going to have all the lectures for the semester. Purpose of the class, it's stats 201. Description, it's stats 201. Outcomes, let me say this about statistics. People make statistics boring. I hate when someone takes what I think is one of the most fun topics out there and turns it into just, like, you don't even want to hear it. Who has a favorite topic to have? Maybe it's history, maybe it's art. Wh who has a favorite topic? Like who has a topic that they just absolutely love? Like your topic is this, food. Like if someone said, I hate cooking, you'd be like, what? Cooking's awesome. Mathematics, if you're like astrology. If someone's like, astrology is boring, you'd be like, no, there's so many cool things. So with this right here, sports analytics, love sports analytics. So with all of these things right here, ice cream, <laughs> crack me up the ice cream. You know, if someone told you history is boring or economics is boring, you'd be like, no, 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 it's it's fun. There's so much you can do with it. Psychology, psychology is lots of fun. I've got my undergrad in psychology. So if someone told you the topic was boring, you'd be like, no, you just, you didn't have fun with it. I like to do a lot of like video game statistics and all that stuff. Design work, that's awesome right there. Um, like whether it be like designing, like you can design art, like our furniture or videos. It's it, creative things are so much fun to me. And I think statistics is a creative thing. So our class is on Canvas easy right there. Now, one of the big things that just came up, so listen in right here, is my Pearson. So <laughs> the BSCU, um, my Pearson, 
and I'll answer, I'll answer, I'll tell you what, after the syllabus, I'll answer some fair video game questions and stuff. My Pearson, you should have connected. Everyone listen in here. If you did inclusive access, you've already paid for my Pearson. And it's actually cheaper to do inclusive access. Make sure you know that you have my Pearson access. Does everyone hear that? Make sure you know you have my, my Pearson access because if you don't, then it gets interesting. Because I've had students who opt out and then they have to buy it for a higher price. Now, if you're re retaking the course or somehow you got a code somewhere else, please tell me. If you have any issues, let me know as soon as possible. The textbook for the course is optional and you do get an e-copy through my Pearson. The course notes are on Canvas. This is a huge thing. This comes up a lot. I want to see people for 20 points right here. Shout out for inclusive access. I know it's so nice and we get it for a little cheaper price. It does force you to get it, but you do need it to pass the class. So I want people to say the course notes. I want you to tell me for 20 points, where are they at on Canvas? Someone's got to help figure this out for the chat. Where are the course notes? on canvas who knows and it's going to help everyone out and get 20 points right here not files they're not under files i should remove files they might be under files actually modules right there claire's got it love it so they are under modules and you will see so excellent work as the chat goes crazy i love seeing the chat go crazy you know it's under modules right there and look right here you see uh chapter two notes chapter three notes chapter four notes but you can't guess what oh no it's not chapter five it's pivot tables and pivot charts so it wasn't chapter five i tricked you i tricked me so Here's where to get the notes for the class. And I've got the nice background here. Let's hop over. Let's take a look at some notes right here. Just to be like, we'll be doing here we are. This is what lecture looks like. I might actually, sure, it's fine. But this right here is what lecture will look like as I go through lecture. So these notes right here can be found under modules. Oh, we've got more transitions coming up, Sarah. So we, <laughs> we've got a whiteboard transition and uh, I'll show you guys a secret. I shouldn't do it. The screen's, screen's not set, set up for it yet. yet. We've got, got speed, speed runs. runs. Let's, Let's hop back, back to the, the main screen, screen though. though. With, let me go back to the other thing around here. Okay. Okay. So what we have right here is the course notes. And there was a question, what is the course ID? Since it is uh, connected to Canvas, you don't need a course ID. Please email me if you have any issues. I will email you back. Please email me. <laughs> Kelsey, that's awesome. Please email me if there's any issues. Please email me if there's any issues. We will get it worked out. We will get it figured out. Um, we will make sure that everything is working. I'm going to make an executive decision right here. This is called an executive decision. Watch this. That's executive decisions. So there we go. <laughs> For those the mods can see it. So we've got Streamlab points during live lectures. You will get Streamlab points. If you do not, you can use any name you want. Please tell me if you like, just say, hey, Brian, if you want to use a different name, um, you kill me, battle cage. <laughs> so as long as people are positive and they say decent things, and please tell me. Um, please tell me if there's any issues with chat, like just email me and say, Hey, Brian, there's an issue and we'll get it fixed. Okay. So there's a question earlier on about software. Um, there's one issue and don't worry if this is you i have already talked to a few people about this. Um, if you have a Chromebook, Chromebooks can't use jump. So, oh, follow me. I'm gonna reverse that executive decision. Okay. We'll make sure. So Chromebooks can't use jump. So if you have a Chromebook, uh, you can use the Citrix server. Don't. This is only for Chromebook people. But I do want to mention you um, or Lockdown. Nikki's right on that. Um, please tell me if this is an issue. We'll get it to work. We'll figure it out. So please tell me if this is an issue. Uh, I believe we can get workarounds for things. We'll try to make things work. We're here to help. We're here to accommodate. Um, you're having problems with downloading Jump? Email me. I've got videos on it, uh, but I won't just be like, well, here's a video. We can hop on Zoom or Discord and I can get it working. I've been working with students yesterday and today, fixing up problems, getting software installed. So you got it. We're going to get this fixed up. Um, it's called the Citrix server. So it's like Citrix server at UTK. And so it's like the Cit, I think it's spelled that way. 
Um, so I put it in chat right there. You can see it, the Citrix server. And I might not have put ultra low latency on. Citrix powers my company's work <laughs> applications. Yeah. Um, okay, so Victoria has a great question. What will we use Jump for? So right now we have the first visualization assignment out there. The first visualization assignment is to take a random sample. And I posted a video showing how to do it and to take a screenshot. So if you haven't already, you can download Jump. I've got videos on how to do that. And you can also take the random sample and you can get 100 on that. And there's only 10 of those, so you're 10% done. Has anyone already done the first visualization and maybe watched the visualization help video? And you're like, okay, I, I got this. I downloaded Jump. I took a random sample of this data and I did it. So there we go, Mary's done it right there. How hard was it, Mary, on a scale of one to 10? Like 10 being impossible, one being easy, easy just completely, and Rebecca, so don't worry, this is not required yet. Um, it wasn't complicated, yep. So I will help you with these things. Mary says it's a one, and that's why I like to see. If, it, if you find it difficult, don't worry, let me know. Discord is not required, it's just, it's like, um, let me say this, because I don't think it's mentioned in here. The Discord, you could make 100 in the class and never use the Discord. But the Discord is basically like our unofficial official group me for the class. So what what I want to do with the Discord, since I know a lot of times students make group me's, is I wanted to kind of grow our community and give everyone access to it. So that way it's not like, oh, you hear it like midway through the semester, like, oh, there's a group me for the class. I was like, why don't we just have our own Discord and, um, you know, grow it? Um, and you can get Excel through UT Alexandria. That's through the email me. It's through like your Outlook, not through your Outlook. You'll log into your UTK, email me, and I can make sure you get that. Um, and the Pearson assignments are tracked. Great questions. Um, and I will send that out later tonight, Kay. I will send it out. So well, thank you, Whitson, right there. So awesome. Great questions. There we go. Thank you, Curb, very much. Curb, Curb is getting 200 points for today. I said, Curb, are you a, are you a current or former student? I'm trying to remember. Curb, but you got 200 points and we will send it out. I'll send it out later. Um, and for my Pearson, so Morgan asked a great question. My Pearson is auto linked to Canvas due to inclusive access. You won't need a code and I'll send you out a video on how to do it. So if you are stuck on that, I'll send a video. And I think I sent it through some of the announcements. Um, you don't need to purchase anything, Aisha, other than uh, the inclusive access, which probably you already have. And if you're logged onto my Pearson, you have it. Uh, and then Chromebooks do have issues that they can't use Jump in lockdown browsers. If you can borrow a laptop from the library, that is excellent. So um, there's just the issue with Chromebooks we see, but that's about it. Um, no, no, Adil Daniel, you did it perfectly. You did it perfectly. Yeah, Curb, I remember your name. I was like, I think you're a past student, but thank you so much, Curb. Thank you for helping out. Um, you don't need to register it, Harrison. Great question. 50 points, Harrison. You do not need to register it. With this in mind, let's go down to the next thing right here. So we used to put, I don't know why we don't have the test dates on here. They're on Canvas though. Um, <laughs> I might do a meme review. So uh, all the homework is through Canvas and my Pearson. So we will have assignments for these chapters right here. Let's continue on. Now, next we have the My Lab homework and quizzes. Now, when you are loaded into Canvas, let's go over to Canvas right here. Da, da, da. So one thing I do like to do is I like to show, oh, there, well, <laughs> sure. One thing I like to show is kind of the first assignment right here. You can see the due dates for the assignments down here, like homework one right here is due next Tuesday. We're gonna cover that material today. It's not bad at all. Is everyone ready to see Brian's speed run homework one? We're gonna do this, why not? We're gonna do our first. I need to go back to the other screen because that this is the screen that has a thing. Oh, no, can I delete my answers? And I don't have this screen really set up for this. I'm gonna mess up my screen if I do it. Main screen. <laughs> How fast do you guys think I can speed run homework one in? How fast do you think I can speed run homework one? Who's got a bet on how fast Brian can speed run homework one? I did not plan on doing this, but it sounds like fun to me. Who has a bet? Two mins? I can I can go sub two minutes. I got sub two minutes right here. Oh shoot, I should not have done that. <laughs> well, okay, I need to go to the speedrun screen and change that screen. Never do anything like this live. It's a bad idea. But here we are over in this screen. Oh, that works. That works. Speedrun screen set up for it. We got this. 13 seconds. I wish I could go 13 seconds. I'm gonna go try to go sub one minute. You ready? I wish it had non-similar question. Here we go. 
So we're trying to go sub one minute here. Let's take a look. Is this categorical quantitative? It is categorical because someone's political ideology is a category. And then is we got to do redo question. And is milligrams, that's quantitative because that's how many milligrams pass through somebody's blood or something. And then we have here, let's try again. We have your food budget, that's quantitative. Oh gosh. And then we have the last question, last but not least. Uh, we need to re uh, we need to try again here. I don't know, how am I doing? This is, wait, the state they lived in is categorical. Final check, that's got, oh my gosh, almost went sub 30 seconds. I cheated, how'd I cheat? Because I can see the answers. <laughs> I'd already done it, I'd already done it. So um, what I'm trying to, what I want to reinforce right here is these first few assignments are very easy. So thank you right there, beast right there. So <laughs> these first few assignments are very easy. Uh, so don't worry, and I had to reset the question. I wish it was open, I, might, I would've gone sub 30 if not. Um, how do you find your username and password? Email me about that for stuff like that. Email me, we'll get it fixed up. If you don't have it linked, email me. So if you can't tell, first few assignments are gonna be pretty easy. And I have two mics going here. Sorry if there's an echo. There we go. Cool. Okay. Can we win a prize if you break my <laughs> I don't want someone spending a long time trying to break my record. I would hate if someone's like, I spent three hours last night trying to break your record, Brian. Do you only get one attempt on the homeworks? Great question, Megan, right here. So you get infinite attempts. If you can't, uh, you can see it now. I'm hitting the try again button. If you get something wrong, you can try it again. So what have we learned right here? Let's review. You have infinite attempts. You have infinite attempts on the homework. You're me up, Trevor. You have infinite attempts on the homework, but they are due before the test material. Write that down right now. You have infinite attempts on the homework, but they are due with the test they're over. Does that make sense? And the homework should be found. You can easily access the homework under the syllabus page. If you scroll down, you should be able to see the due dates. Um, they're also, if you log into my Pearson, why are the due dates not appearing? Let me reload the page. I said there they are right here. So this is, I'll go to main screen so you can see what's going on. There we go. Cool. Sorry, I muted it on the other one. I need to fix that. We should be good now. Sorry about that. I lost my... Uh, yes, Ryan points out a good thing. Everyone should be able to hear me. Thank you, Sarah. Welcome back. So I, I muted my... I had two mics going because it wasn't that big of a problem. So sorry about that. Thank you for the mute in the chat. 50 points first person said mute. So with this right here, um, you can see that we have the due dates and you can also click them over here. See what's going on. Yeah, Curb. Oh, I think I know who Curb is now. I, I remember. Curb is totally right. Like, do your homework right after class. Or do, I'm sorry, Matthew. You, 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 <laughs> I'll do better. Do your homework right after class or even before to practice. But um, the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Um, and they're not that hard. So eh, they get a little trickier as they go on. Um, so you have the inclusive access to my Pearson. Does the amount of attempts on the homework influence the homework grade? Nope. You can get it wrong and retry Lexi right there. Let's make Lexi a mod. So, and we'll make Chase a mod too. So you can infinitely retry it. Did everyone hear that? You can infinitely retry them. You can just get it wrong, try again, get it wrong, try again. So if it's a multiple choice, you can pretty much always get it right. Um, now here we get to the quizzes. Let's hop back over to the syllabus right here and talk about the quizzes. Now with the quizzes, Here's the big thing we need to know. You get one free attempt at each quiz. You get one free attempt at each quiz. Do everyone hear that? You get one free attempt. With one free attempt, you can make 100 on it. Now, to get your next four attempts, you must get at least an 80 on the relevant homework. Does that make sense to everybody? K is excellent. K, 50 points right there, K. I love when people are saying the answers in the chat because <laughs> Andy killed me right there. So um, you get one free attempt. Let's do this. You decide you want to attempt the quiz and you make a 70. What do you need to do? 20 points for the answers. What do you need to do 
to get your remaining attempts at the quiz if you make a 70 on the quiz. They're about weekly, Grace. Great question right there, Grace. It means you are mod. Yep. There we go. And I'll mod people at the end of class. So if you're looking to get modded, I'll mod you at the end of class. And everyone's saying 80 on the homework. So it's possible to just do the homework and quiz once. Because you could do the quiz, get 100 on it, and never have to do it again. You do the homework, get 100 on it, and you get four more attempts at the quiz, but you don't even need them. But the big thing is, if you do get a grade on the quiz you don't want, you have to make at least an 80 on the homework to get your four remaining quizzes. And someone said it earlier, the homeworks have soft due dates. Um, the due date on the homework is just kind of like a suggested due date, but you can do the homeworks up until the test that they go over the material on. So homeworks do close for the material they cover on a test. The, um, the quizzes, they have sharp due dates. Now there's drops for the quizzes, there's no drops for the homework. We drop basically 20% and there's a lot of multiple choice check K, not always multiple choice, but there's a good bit of it. It's a good bit. I mean, we're lucky. Multiple choice, yay. So exactly, Luke's right. I love it. I'll tell you one thing. I love when we start the semester and there's tons of 100s. If you want to get ahead tonight, uh, just sit down and take the first homework or the second homework and see if you can get 100. Um, I've got homework help videos going over those. Um, let me drop that playlist in the chat right now. So I'm gonna drop a playlist, uh, open this in a side window here. So two seconds, I'm gonna have to find that playlist, but I've got a homework help playlist. And if you scroll through a lot of my playlists, they're decently organized. Sorry, I'm getting more and more and more playlists as time goes on. Um, but let me find that playlist, test two assignments, test three, test one assignments. Here we go. And here, it's like Joker here. So this is the playlist for assignment ones. Don't leave this video, keep watching. Um, you you have to use it a little bit for the homework. Some homeworks do, they're easier with jump and the homework can be found on Canvas. You can also be accessed through my Pearson. Does everyone understand that you have my Pearson homework and quizzes? And we'll talk about exams here in a moment. Great questions for there. Where do we find the video lessons to be able to do the homework? Uh, Gab Gabriella, right in the chat right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag Gabriella. Great job tagging me. Gabriella, 20 points right there. Amazing job. We'll keep throwing out points for these awesome questions. Um, yeah, there's tons of videos, Austin, and I'll try to make it very clear which videos to watch. Um, but I have a homework help video for pretty much every homework. Um, exactly. So there's the Canvas quizzes and the Canvas homeworks. How do you access my Pearson through Canvas? Hunter, email me and we'll get that fixed up. Uh, do we log into my Pearson through the inclusive access? You log in through Canvas. Uh, let me put this, for everyone asking how to connect the two, give me one second right here and I will post that video in the chat. I wonder if you guys can hear mine. So give me one second, I'm gonna post that in the chat. And here is the video for connecting the two. So, um, Canvas to my Pearson. Okay, so there is how to connect Canvas to my Pearson. So with this right here, Pearson and Canvas homeworks are the same thing, but be careful, there are visualization assignments. Does this all make sense right here? I'll figure this on. Do we email our points from the day to you after our class? Do it at the end of the week. At the end of the week, at the end of the week, that's the best time to do it. And so there are quizzes and homeworks on Canvas and my Pearson. No, no, they're the same thing. So sorry for the confusion. Hopefully I haven't confused anyone here. Canvas and my Pearson are linked. Does this make sense that Canvas and my Pearson are linked? So you can access my Pearson through Canvas. You go through Canvas and you access my Pearson. So there are the homeworks and quizzes that, that are on my Pearson that you can do in Canvas. Does that make sense to everybody right here? There are my Pearson homeworks and quizzes that you can do on Canvas. Uh, email me, Catherine, if it's not working. Email me, Catherine, and I'll send it to you. So feel free to email me and I will send it to you right away. Awesome, Nikki says, yes, that makes sense. Great job right there. Now here's the Canvas content quizzes. So the Canvas content quizzes are very, very important because the Canvas content quizzes give you an idea about what is going on for the test. The Canvas content quizzes are meant to mimic the test. So when you take a Canvas content quiz, you're basically taking a mini test. We'll even take questions from the Canvas content quizzes and put them on the test. So if you're wondering what will the test look like, this is the test right here. Not literally the test, but this is pretty much it. So when I see, just to make sure we have live lectures and not previous recorded lectures, you are totally correct. Um, and there are videos to help out Gerard. 
Excellent work right there, Gerard. So continuing on, is my Pearson same as my lab sats? Yep, my Pearson is my lab. My Pearson is my lab. Will there be separate homeworks for quizzes in my Pearson? They are the same thing. Brock, does that make sense? And the content quizzes are not timed. The content quizzes are not timed. So with this right here, I hear my neighbors. I hope they're not banging on the, like I said, <laughs> I think they're modifying something with this right here. You, don't worry. Just tell me Emily, or just as long as it wasn't like a wrong amount. Are the Canton con Yes. So right here, these are required. Everything I'm mentioning right now is part of your grade. So the Canvas content quizzes are a part of your grade. Make sure to do the Canvas content quizzes. They are an important part of your grade. With this right here, let's continue. And let's take a look. Does everyone understand what the Canvas content quizzes are? They are quizzes on Canvas that you will do that mimic the test. So the Canvas content quizzes are basically your insight to what the test will look like. Everything I'm mentioning right now is for a grade. So make sure to not miss any of these because you will miss out on important parts of your grade. So practice quizzes basically. Yep, they're practice quizzes, but don't, they are for a grade, are for a grade. Please note, these are for a grade. And I don't believe they're timed. You get two attempts. So you get two attempts. Here, we're going to give 50 points to the first 10 people to say two attempts in the, how many attempts do you get on the Canvas content quizzes? How many attempts do you get on the Canvas content quizzes? Two, Matthew gets points right there. Olivia gets points. Who else are seeing right here? Dela and Lexi and Destiny and Rita and Charlie and Madison and Trace and Laurel and Joshua and Aiden and Michelle. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's stream. <laughs> what have we done? I love it. You guys and gals are doing excellent. Everyone's doing great. So with this right here, we've got the visualization assignments. So what are the visualization assignments? The visualization assignments are assignments that you need to do that use jump. So with the visualization assignments here, you'll need to go and do them. They're about every two to three weeks, I would say, but they go over something we're covering that uses jump. So make sure you know how to do the visualization assignments and I will be posting videos to help out with these visualization assignments. If I didn't give you 50 points for typing two, you get 20 points. Thank you for all those people typing two right there and knowing that you get two attempts at those Canvas content quizzes. Projects, there'll be two projects. And I have to slow down here a tiny bit. Do not cheat on the project. Every semester, oh, we, gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta play sad music here. Do I have the right button up for it? I think it's this one. Every semester, there's someone who cheats, and I have to talk to them about it. And it's the least fun part of my job. So it's it's not fun, and I always make sure I'm very careful in who I accuse of this and cheating. I totally agree. So please do not send anyone your work. Do not post your work on a site, even after this class. Do not uh, share your work with other people. Do not take work from other people. <laughs> All the F's in the chat right there from Whit Whitson. So make sure to do your own work. I'll even F in the chat for that. But don't cheat whatever you do. Um, please don't do it. It makes my life less fun and we don't want to do it. Cancel cheating. I agree 100%. So don't post your material anywhere. Don't take your material from anywhere. Don't send your material to friends. That's a good way to cheat and cheating is never good. With this right here, exams. There are three exams. They will be via lockdown browser, um, make sure you have a reliable internet connection. We're also going to post a, <laughs> you're welcome, Catherine. We're also going to post a, um, it's actually David 504. I took it from his like saddest music ever video. Um, so um, I'm going to post a video on how to take the exams. You basically want to make sure you're looking straight up and looking at the screen. You don't want to do things like this or block your face because then it won't show that you're actually taking the exam. It'll flag your video. If your video gets flagged, it's possible we might have to like, do some sort of, you know, check or something and be like, we can't accept your grade. So the last exam is not really cumulative. Aisha, great point. Aisha, Aisha great point. Great question right there. It's not really cumulative. It kind of mentions stuff and we have what are called tools and techniques questions. Do the points I received yesterday count for the point? Yep. Those points count. Great job right there. And let's see right here. Only a few more things. We're going to get to lecture. Here is the webpage for the class. So this is the webpage. We need to update it. 
and it's got exam and review material. I'll go over this more when we update it. So more info to come on that. Here's the stats one YouTube channel, uh, late assignments, no late assignments. We do accept some things like projects with late assignments. Um, but really don't turn things in late projects may have late assignments on it. Do we need to scrap paper for exams? Uh, we'll release more info, Rebecca. Great question right there. When the exams are being taken, we'll have more info when exams are being taken. Exam schedule conflicts, please contact us if there is an issue. Here's the grading scale right here. I think we're to the easy stuff right now. You'll notice right here, 15%, 15%, 18%. Now, what I want to point out, let's slow down right here. You ready? One of the biggest things you'll notice is that a lot of this is under your control. The visualization assignments are 7% of your grade and I'll be posting videos to help out. And so I would say, I would take it at the end of next week. I think it's not, is it not due by then yet? I would say once we cover chapter two, Annette, um, I would take it then. And you can have a basic calculator or a TI calculator. Either one's fine. You only need a basic calculator for this class. And I'll be sending out more office hour stuff later. So great questions. I love the chat. Excellent work. Now, if you look right here, exam one, exam two, exam three, the biggest thing is, is these exams are what usually determines people's grades. But I want us to think about this. I want us to do a little bit of math and I'm gonna code this into R. The exams are worth 48% of your grade. So with the exams worth 48% of your grade, let's do this real quick right here, you ready? With 48% of your grade, if you were to only make, let's say even a 70 on the exams, if you were to make a 70 on the exams, that'd be 36. And we could add together the 52 points right here that you make. So with this right here, I think I've done something wrong. <laughs> we need to times this by this. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh, I'm not doing proper mathematics, order of operations. That's why I'm trying to try to do things live. I don't know how to do math anymore. Oh no. We need to do 48% of this. And then we need to add 52 to it. 85. So take a look at this. You can make a 70 on all the exams and still make an 85 in the class. You could make a 60 on all the exams. And here's what's even better. You could make a 60 on the exams. And then with the bonus, you could still make a B. That is outrageous. So what are you learning right here? The biggest thing for this class is to do all the work, do the visualizations, do the homework, do the quizzes, because mathematically, you can make a 60 on all the tests and still make a B in the class. You could essentially make a 40 and still make a C. Now don't, don't make a 40. If you're wondering, let's go back up here, I guess for an A, that'd be an A minus, a C. You just need a C average. And let's go a little bit higher right here. There we go. So now it's like you need to make Bs on the test to make an A. Not that bad, right? I think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me that you can, but this is the biggest thing right here. The biggest thing, you're welcome, Jacob, right there. The biggest thing is doing all your work. You can do the MyLab quizzes. There's drops on those. Do the quizzes. Do not meet quizzes. Yeah, they're definitely drilling or something because I just heard like, what's not like a drill. I was afraid they were like knocking on the ceiling. I think I'd hear that though. So you can do the quizzes and you've got here the Canvas content quizzes. You've got the visualizations and you've got the homeworks. These are the parts of your grade that you control. The first assignments are coming up here due in a little bit. They're definitely constructing something. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. I was like, I hope they're not mad. <laughs> so here's the due dates up here on Canvas. Um, you can use graphing calculators, you bet. August, there's one on August 24th. What's August 24th? Oh yeah, take the random sample. So. Um, and Megan, this is great news right here. With, with this, Megan, even with not liking tests taken, one, what can you practice to make sure you'll do really well on the tests? What could you do to practice to make sure you'll do really well on the tests? Like, I know a lot of people are really afraid, like, uh-oh, the tests, I'm really afraid. What could you practice and make sure you do well on to know that you'll do well on the tests? What could you practice and know that you'll do well on the tests by doing? Canton's, yep, exactly. Because this is, if you're doing well on these, this is a good indicator that you'll do well in the test. So that's huge. Make sure you know that, that if you're doing well in the Canvas content quizzes, that's a very good indicator that you'll do well on the test. And these do count for a grade. You get two attempts and there will be two of the lowest dropped. And during the, during the Kahoot or something, I was like, I think it's two dropped. And it is, it is. I knew it. I knew it. 
um late assignments all that good stuff there's the grades now i want to mention something big right here so <laughs> i'm gonna give 200 points to the first two people who say this phrase you can say either one of these phrases take your pick you ready you got to put this phrase in the chat you ready thank you jacob i want you to either put the phrase um don't email brian about giving you a higher grade don't email brian about taking a late assignment either one of those phrases don't email brian about giving you a higher grade julia gets her 200 for the points right there who else oh my gosh everyone gets 50 points for just saying this we're trying to get as many pull points as we can um don't email brian and then trace gets her 200 points right there um and olivia and then let me pick another person who said the other one um don't email brian about taking a late assignment gavin gets 200 points right there so and everyone gets 50 points for just playing along and, and knowing what to do don't email me about hey brian i really would like my grade to be higher i need a a in the class uh did I, did I leave in no it doesn't have yo man i need a c one of my least favorite slash favorite emails is a student emailed me and said yo man i need a c and i was like what? <laughs> i mean i'm personable i'm nice uh, i miss being on campus and seeing everyone but uh, you know just don't say yo man i need a c i'm not gonna be mad i'm just gonna be like maybe be like hi brian i need a c <laughs> But yeah, the old man I need to see is a classic from 10 years ago. Uh, um, so I think every yo man, I need an A. That's that's you see, if you're gonna go all out, go all out. Yo man, I need an A. So um I'd like a C. Brian, I'd like a C. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid, but yes, exactly. If you need to add or change a section, please contact Haslam, all this good stuff. And what I'm gonna do, I wonder if you guys can hear that knocking and stuff. They're literally building something. And contact tracing, we're not in class, but we did include this seating chart. We don't have seating chart because we're online. Addendums, that's what we've reviewed. Um, and so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do something brand new for this semester. I'm gonna show you guys something. We're gonna incorporate it. I'm really excited about it. And I need to hop back to the main screen because I only have the transition on that screen. But, okay. So for the next, probably about, did I mess up the screen? I did, no. This is where I was like, I need to change the screen. So two seconds here, let me fix this screen. I should have never, never changed anything live. It was a horrible idea. And you are seeing the ins and outs of Streamlabs right now. What I'm gonna show you is a brand new thing that we've set up for this semester. This is why I set up everything beforehand. I don't try to change things live. Okay, um, you can use any type of calculator as long as it's not your phone. Langston, great question right there. And so we're gonna show you a new thing for this semester. This is one of the things I'm excited about. And then we're gonna come back and do chapter one, but I, I will not be able to see chat while this is happening. I might do this to show examples during class, but this is something brand new for this semester. And so they're gonna be similar, Morgan. This is a brand new thing. I will not be able to see chat while this is happening. So I will not be able to see chat. So whatever people type, I can't see. Now you guys are like, well, we can type, but this is a brand new thing and we're gonna find ways to use this. I'm really excited about it. Let's go check out the whiteboard. Here we go. Okay, so I cannot see chat, and my neighbors are definitely building something, but we have the burger of the week, and this is the whiteboard, and I might do some examples during class, or show some people some stuff, or graph some out, but when I'm at the whiteboard, I cannot see. So if you're asking the question right now, I cannot see it. I wish I could have a second floating monitor right here. Hopefully everything's working, and you can see and hear me, and I might work on the video quality of this. I'm gonna hop back to the main cam, but this is the whiteboard, and we're gonna use it this semester. So be back in one second on main camera. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta make, I gotta make that transition longer. Burger. <laughs> oh, total Lexi, you got it right there. It's total Bob's Burger reference. So awesome. I gotta make, I gotta make sure when we come back that that thing's longer. Um, yep. Cause I can, you, there you go. There's the, <laughs> I have to change the camera. Um, oh, thank you so much. D right there. I have to, I have to make a new transition between that screen. I make them in after effects. If you, if you like making stuff, Feel free to tell me, help out, VFL. Oh, you bet, VFL right here. Oh, it's backwards, it's VLFV. <laughs> so um, that's what we got going on. I hope you've been having fun today and you understand what's going on with this class. It is a little ADD because I am. That's the way it goes, literally. Anyways, so with this, I'm getting this nice right where I want it. Um, yeah, we're, we might do some Twitch streams. 
last comment on that, and I'll make sure I got everything. Who said L? <laughs> and we're making you a mod. You defend in our chat right here. So um, we, we might do some streams on Twitch just to get like Amazon Prime subs. One thing we're going to do is uh, when we, with any money we make, we give it out via like Prime gift cards. Um, so with the Cahoots, and I think I might, should I do this? Should I, I want, uh, does anyone know Jablinski Games, Jack Black? I want to invite him to our Kahoot. I want him to come either like do a guest intro host or I want him to come come in here and play Kahoot with us because he likes playing games. So I'm gonna try to, uh, you know, I might, I might tweet Jack Black and be like, hey, you need to get on here and play some uh, Kahoot with us. So we'll see. I'll be nice. I'll be like, hey, you, you've played Tony Hawk Pro Skater. You've taught you've taught School Rock, but have you played Kahoot? So if anyone has ideas or know anything, and we're always just gonna be nice. If you see me tweeting it out under Stats One UTK, you know we're gonna be nice. We're not gonna bug people. It's their call. They're doing their own thing. They're living their own life. But you know, if they want to come in here and have some fun, we can do that right here. Can we go over the assignment that's due on the 24th? I've got, uh, GG, I've got a great video on that. And email me if you don't see it. I've got the visualization video going over that. It's only about four and a half minutes. And yep, and Kahoot is a game that we will play each Friday to review material from the week. So come in, check out the Kahoot and all that great stuff. And like I said, we always keep it positive here. Um, we had Julio in the chat earlier. Julio will probably do another interview with us because Julio is the best. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, Julio uh, played with the Texas Rangers. He's finishing his degree here at UT and he he came from UT. He was here when we went to the World Series and he's such a Vols help Vols type person. He's all about helping Vols and I love it because he's, he's, he's met with multiple students. He's talked to multiple students. He's helped multiple students and it's really good to see him here like just, just being part of the Vol family. So I love it because you guys know I'm a Tennessean. I'll just say it. I'm from New York, but sorry, New York. Sorry, New York. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, number three is quite subjective. Definitely Rocky Top. Email me that one. We'll get it worked out. Okay, you guys ready? And then if I say guys, it's because I'm from New York. It's just, it, it's been ingrained into my head. I heard it all growing up. Um, Awesome. So we're going to start off with the first lecture here. And that's our goal to finish. You say, we got, we got 13 minutes. How can we finish that first lecture, Brian? We can't do this. There's no way. Well, you know, we got this. Are you ready to hear about the first lecture in statistics? So with the first lecture, what are we learning about? What is statistics? Statistics is basically like turning numbers into information. But we see nonsense like this all the time. This class is a very on start and ending. Did you guys hear in 1986 that four out of nine Alabamians will die of colorectal cancer? This has been our, in one of our, like our first slide for 11 years. And I'm like, this is awesome. Um, <laughs> do I, have the, I don't have the paperboy intro. We made something for this, but then we didn't use it. Um, yikes. I know. Myrna, you get 50 points for following along right here. So you're, you're like, what in the world is going on right here? This is kind of true. And I know I'm not trying to bring up the interesting times we're living in, but numbers always have to have context. And whenever you give numbers, you have to make sure that they're in the right context. This context right here is four out of nine Alabamians who get colorectal cancer will die of colorectal cancer. So and the number's rising. Oh no, Andy right there, 50 points for following along right there. Um, and Connor right there, 50 points. Great job. I love all the comments in the chat related to what we're talking about. Awesome stuff. So. Statistics get a really bad rap, but my dad is a statistician. He worked for Eastman, Herxolanese, Lipton, Pepsi. So he worked for all these companies and did their data. Now, why would a company hire someone if statistics are just lies? They're not lies. Statistics can be used to mislead, and we don't like to do that. That's not what we do with statistics. We use statistics to bring clarity to help people understand what's going on with data. <laughs> Charlie, 50 points cracking me up right there. Stats don't lie, the statistician does. That's probably one of my favorite phrases. I'm adding that in right here. Stats don't lie, the statistician does. The stats are just numbers. Numbers don't care. Numbers are just numbers. Um, just numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Stats just are, but someone could use it to make a deceptive argument. They could not give you the full story. They could, you know, cherry pick. They could quote mine, all these fallacies. We don't like fallacies here. 
We just want to keep the numbers real and we want to make sure that we're giving the full picture. That's our goal with data. And so this is real. It's used in economics. Who here can tell me their major? You can tell you, these are all questions if you find too personal, you don't have to answer. I'm not going to throw points for it. But who has a major that they want me to talk about for a half second here? Because I've got a lot of experience with marketing. My sister does marketing and does retail or not. Re she did retail. I did retail too. But when it comes to marketing, it's all about numbers. It's about beating last year's numbers. It's about charting and figuring out where you're at. It's all about the statistics. It's all about statistics. Biology. I was actually helping a biology student. Was it with, what was it? What were we doing? Oh, well, no, I just helped another student on medical stuff, but that was like cancer research. That's medical. Um, nursing. Nursing is all about statistics when it comes to medicine. If you think about current world situation, it's looking at the data, looking at trends in the data, statistics major, that's definitely using stats. Psychology is all about research and doing studies like Milgram study or um, Stanford prison study. And this is all like p-values and research. Neuroscience, definitely like neuroscience, any sort of science is using research, p-values, all this stuff right here. Human resources, they're still trying to improve it. They're still trying to optimize it. They're still doing research. They're collecting data on people. Pharmacy, my brother's a pharmacist and he uses statistics all the time. He's actually getting his uh, professional MBA right now, and he's using statistics. Political science, one of my former students, uh, Alec, he, uh, he, uh, I think he did a business analytics minor, but he's political science. I think he's doing his piece. You know, I need to reach out to Alec. He was a 207 student and he loved statistics and he used it to do political science research and he's going to a PhD program. So political science and statistics, it's a really good combo. It's like, how do you analyze that data? Percussion performance. Music and math really go together well. That, Alexandra, that's awesome. I, I don't have a good example for that. Really good thing right there. Sociology and criminal justice, totally data. It's all about data. Anything that's all about data is all about statistics. So I love all these majors right here. Sports management, it's all about statistics. It's all about collecting data on, you know, like contracts. Who, if Julio is still here, Julio, if you're still here, I think we were talking about contract stuff because he was taking a class related to that and he was looking at all the data. And it's so funny because I got a, Julio was talking about how he was reading one of the books or one of the lectures and was mentioning somebody. And he was like, oh yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> He's like, he like wanted to call the guy and be like, hey, you're in my book. <laughs> so uh, information science, definitely all about data. Shout outs to Julio. Julio is so awesome. You'll see him drop in in the chat, say hey to him. He's so nice. Um, I use statistics at my old job as a manager at a marina to figure out the best day and the best food to have huge specials. Thus, Wing Wednesday was born. And how did it work out, Tyler? Tyler, you're getting 200 points right there. That's an amazing example. Data-driven decisions. Tyler could not have put it better. That data just gives context. It's all about reasoning and understanding the world. So data, and we really want Wing Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Oh, my gosh. If I had boneless Wing Wednesday, that'd make my day. That'd be awesome. So what is the goal of statistics? It's to analyze data, to measure the variation in it, understand it, sometimes reduce and adapt. So think about Tyler's example right there. He was measuring like what people were buying on certain days. And then he understood the variation and he adapted what they were doing. This, this is a prime example. That's why I threw out those 200 points. It's amazing. Let's just say we had to build a whole new seating. <laughs> that is some, I'm not breaking the rules. Whatever, Tyler. Tyler, you get 250 for today. I'm breaking the rules. I rarely break the rules, but I like that response right there. That's the power of data-driven decisions. And sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard because sometimes you look at the data and you're like, wait a minute, this day is very, very popular with this. This day works with this. And you you run different tests. And maybe Tyler did that with the, with the group right there. I rarely, I know, Andrew, I'm trying to keep myself to... <laughs> I'm trying to control myself this semester before I de destroy the point economy again. So data, we only have one more big topic to learn today. Is everyone ready for our last big topic? Our last big topic is what are the three types of variables? And if you put the three types of variables in the chat, I will throw you another 50 points. So get ready. You can put them now or later. So be following along and learn about the three types of data. Here's just data without context. And eh, it's kind of a useless slide. Here's the data with context. I don't like it that much. But let's talk about what the three types of data are and come back to this in one second right here. That's how I take a random sample. The three types of data are, and they're saying in the chat, categorical is one type. Now, categorical puts things into categories. It's important you know that just think about what it says. Categorical. I don't like to call it qualitative because it causes confusion. But if you wonder why it's qualitative, it's because it's like a quality. Uh, quality would be like your eye color, your hair color, uh, what color is your shirt? Uh, what state were you born in? That's a quality or a category. I like to call it categorical. Great job, all these points in the chat right here. And, you know, people were asking me questions earlier. 
now make sure, <laughs> make sure we're a positive community here. Ask me a categorical question. Ask me a categorical question. What is a categorical question you can ask me? We're going to do this in the last five minutes. We got this. What are the categorical questions? What is a categorical question you can ask me? Oh, be careful, Ian. How old are you? I'm still throwing you 50 points right there, but that'd be quantitative. What colors can't I see? <laughs> that is categorical. What is my favorite color? Purple or green? Both are cool. Maybe not together. Maybe it wouldn't be Joker. What color are my eyes? They are like hazel. And what group are you in? I'm in, I'm in uh, BTS. That's what group I'm in. They, I got kicked out though. They, when they went big, they kicked me out of BTS. Do you like pizza, hamburgers, or hot dogs? That's a great question, Victoria. I think I like hamburgers the best. Really good pizza can trump that though. Hot dogs are kind of like this, like they stay static. What about hot dogs? I don't know, bad anything's bad. What profession do you like to have with stats? Oh, without stats? Oh, what would I do without stats? I don't know, I'd probably stream or something. Favorite video game? Might be Mega Man 2 or Mario 1, like of all time, or like Mario Kart's are really great. If I could only play one video game again ever, like for the rest of my life. I might like Binding of Isaac, that's a great game too. What class are you in? Uh, I teach 201, 320, 474. These are all cat dogs. So I'm a dog person. Oh, well, I didn't offend anyone. Favorite ice cream? Cookie dough. So these are all categorical questions. Favorite Star Wars character? Darth Vader is really cool. Like his voice is awesome. I'm not a big Star Wars fan though. Sorry. I'm more of a, what's your Hogwarts house? Oh, I'm, I'm part of a, what, Cedric Diggory's house? Is that Hufflepuff? I think we're Hufflepuff. So, and then Chelsea, my fiance, is Slytherin. Have you ever heard of Extra? Like I have. I think I have. Those, I think I know who those are. Those are streamers, right? Asian Zing or Buffalo? I'd probably go Asian Zing. If it's hot Asian Zing, that'd be better. Spider-Man? So Venom or Spider-Man? I'm going Spider-Verse. I'm going Miles Morales. If you have not seen Spider-Verse, go watch Spider-Verse. Can I get some represent for go watch Spider-Verse? Because Spider-Verse is like, that is that is top tier. And then go watch Deadpool, which is a totally different movie. Rick and Morty or Bob's Burgers? Bob's Burgers consistent. Rick and Morty season one and two is, is awesome. So um, do you listen to, I don't know who Death Grips is. Video game fundraising to we'll have to look into that right there, Rocky Top Stats. So then, so now we know what categorical is. Now we need to know what quantitative is. We got this. Three minutes left. We got this. Quantitative is an actual real quantity. Does everyone see quantitative is an actual real quantity? So it needs to be things that you can subtract from each other. So let's see in the chat. How old is Brian? I've given too many clues today. How old is Brian? This is a quantity. How old is Brian? How old am I? Is a quantitative? 27. I'm totally 27. <laughs> People are getting close. Andrew has... <laughs> no one's guessed. 200 points, first person to guess my age. 200 points, first person to guess my age. No one's said it yet. Oh, Victoria got it. 200 points to Victoria right there. Everyone else gets 50 points. We're trying to max everyone out today. Victoria's right. I am 37. Other quantitative questions can be like, what is your height? What is your weight? Um, how many burgers did you eat last night? It needs to be a real number that you can subtract. You will know that something is quantitative if you can take one number and subtract it, not 200 quite yet. How many pairs of shoes do you own, Meg? I'm throwing you 200 points. I like when you throw out the question right there because that's a quantitative question. It's an actual real number where I maybe own, I think I only own like seven pairs of shoes right now. I threw out a bunch of old shoes when we moved. Um, <laughs> he killed me in the chat. So you can subtract that I own seven pairs of shoes and maybe someone else owns 10 pairs of shoes. That's a difference of three. That is a real difference. So that is two types of variables. We've got one last type of variable and the last type of a ver type of variable is an identifier. An identifier, and this is where people make mistakes, are actual real number. <laughs> Identifiers are unique for each and every observation. They cannot and they will not ever repeat. So do not put any of these in the chat. Don't even joke, don't even joke. People always joke every semester on me. Um, but something like your, your driver's license number or that other number that you're not supposed to, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't even joke on me. But, um, these are numbers that cannot, will not repeat. Does that make sense? Your credit card numbers would probably be identifiers too. Cause those are like, yeah, credit card numbers, social security numbers, uh, your driver's license numbers, all of these right here cannot, will not repeat. So anything that is unique and cannot, will not ever repeat. And what can we see from this? We will see data frames like this. And I'll mention a few other things next class, but here's a data frame right here. And let's just do two questions to end class. You ready? These are going to be 200 point questions. And I'm going to yell at the first person who gets it. What is area code? Is area code quantitative, categorical, or identifier? First person, 200 points. We're almost done. We got 30 seconds here. Uh, what is it? What is it? No, 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 Gerard. Let me delete that, Gerard. 
Uh, Lewis got it right here. Lewis got it right here. Uh, Gerard, delete that comment. <laughs> Don't not put anything like that. Once again, do not. Yeah, you can remove your own comments. Can I remove it? Delete, don't. <laughs> so I think it was, uh, yep. And then we have price. What is price? Price is what? Price is quantitative. Now you might be wondering why is area code categorical? Does it make sense if you subtract someone's area code from someone else's? It does not. Area code is just a group. Like I'm a part of, think if you think of your area code, you're part of the 865 area code or part of the 423 if you're in Kingsport. That's not a real quantity of your area code where price is an actual real amount. But how about this order ID to end class? This is the last question. How about that order ID? What is that? That would be a what? That would be an identifier. And let's go right there with, is it Than? I hope I pronounced your name correctly. We're going to give the points right there to Than. Um, great job. And if I mispronounce your name, feel free to email me or tell me. I want to make sure I get everyone's name right and I will pronounce your name correctly. That does it. Sorry, I went one minute over. I tell you what, class is over right now. Class over. Let me put up a big thing that says like class is over. Be like, class is over. Let's hop to the main screen. I'm just going to hang out for a moment right here though. And I'm going to take questions. Everyone can leave. This is not... Class is over. Taking random, taking questions. You can leave. Everyone can leave, <laughs> but you don't have to. But if you have a question, feel free to ask. Who has questions right now? Who has questions? Did you guys have fun? Well, these lectures, uh, they're live on, they're on YouTube. They will stay on YouTube. Price is not an identifier because it can repeat. And it's a real quantitative number. And we'll review this next class to start, William. We'll start with a review of it. So, William, it is price is quantitative because you can subtract two different prices from each other and it can repeat. So it's like, how much did it cost? Does that make sense, William? Like, if you think about, like, we talk about things on Amazon, it has a price. So you'd say, how much did this cost? How much did this cost? And you can subtract the difference. Usually when you say how much... It's a quantitative. Did you ever live in Kingsport? My parents live in Kingsport. They live in Preston Forest, Morgan. So I don't know if you went to DB or South, is it? There's South in Kingsport. I should know these things. But uh, I'm, sometimes people see me in Kingsport. They're like, Brian? And I'm like, hey, what's up? One time I was visiting my brother in Charlotte and someone told me, they're like, Brian? And I'm like, hey, what's up? They're like, I was just student. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> uh, do you know actual stream games? I might. I've thought about it. We might do that, Destiny. We might, we might start doing stuff over on like, uh, if we got enough people watching on uh, Twitch, I might actually start streaming games. Like, I don't know. I could play through Isaac on this computer. Like, I don't know. If you guys know Binding of Isaac, I love that game. What I want to do is I want to start a new run of it and be like, oh, this is my first time playing the game. And then, like, I can I can usually beat it. I, I've put in too many hours. Of over a thousand. Is Kahoot streamed on YouTube? You bet. Call Kahoot is streamed on YouTube. Um, so 200 points max per day and 500 a week. Make sure to do the other things if you want to get some other points. So Addison right there, good question. Um, you can do the other things right here. Uh, you can uh, get the points during class, 200 points max. You can also put comments under videos. You have to wait till it's finished and then you put a comment under it. And then you can attend a live event. I'm also counting that for class. But you know, throw some comments. It helps out the channel. Throw some likes on the videos if you want. You can always do it. I've never played Rocket League. I think I think I might like it. Um, and the coup will be on YouTube, Victoria. Um, um, you can only log 200 points for each day. That's correct. Unless I say I'm breaking the rules, which I'm going to try to do more rarely. I might do it once per class. You know what I might do? I might break the rules once per class, once per class. Um, remember, unless I, I, I think I only broke the rules for one person. So you can only get 200 in the class time. So a lot of people probably got 200 and that's my goal. If you can't tell, my goal is that you get points. Like I want to give as many points as I can. So I'll oftentimes do a big group response where it's like 20, 50 or something like that. Then I usually do individual points of like hundred or 200. So does that make sense? The 200 points doesn't include the stream of Victoria, correct? And let's make Victoria mod right here. Oh, sure, make the mod too. Uh, since we are using respondents for exam, doesn't mean we need to, I believe Rocky Top Steps, you asked that earlier, great question. Um, we do a lot of scrap paper. I think you just have to show it. Do double check Rocky Top Steps. I don't want to say on that yet. Uh, Terry's now the Stat one coordinator, and I don't want to say info that is not correct. I'll double check. Uh, it is respondents, and I do believe you will be using um, Alexander, I'm going to give you the 200 points. You got the 200 points, yeah, Alexander. I appreciate you being here. So I'll tell you what, this is the first day. If you're still watching, you get the 200 points. If you are currently still watching, you get the 200 points for today. 
uh, thanks for breaking the rules for me. I know there it is. Tyler's the only one I broke the rules for. <laughs> Tyler's the only one who's got more than the 200. I broke the rules. Right. But you said we have to look straight at the camera the whole time. Oh yeah. No, don't worry. I mean, if you have to look down, but you just, you can, yeah, we'll, we'll send out good, good. <laughs> You're right. Rocky Tal stats. <laughs> okay. You need to look at the camera. <laughs> we will send out. Um, well, thank you very much, Matthew. You know, this, uh, the whole respondents thing, especially for 201 is kind of new. Um, you will, you'll use the form and I would do the form weekly. I would do the form weekly destiny. Great question. Destiny. I would do the form weekly. So at the end of the week, I would just click to the form, type in my points, done. Yep. Um, and I'll be posting office hours. Really great question right there. I'm finalizing it. I should have it out this weekend. Uh, right now you can just email me and I'll probably be, I might do some streams on YouTube. I might do one on like Friday, but I'll post that Charlie amazing question. Charlie, you know what? No one mentioned that yet, Charlie. We're breaking the rules for Charlie and Charlie you got 250 today. I really like that question a lot because I didn't talk a lot about office hours and that's something I really try to make a priority of. And so you'll see office hours streams too. <laughs> How many points do you have, Andrew? I am glad the points are working. If you if you saw last night, I was doing endless test streams to get the points working. I was like going crazy, going mad, trying to get these points working. And they finally, please open my gift. What what is your what is your gift? Wait, what gift is this? What what did I miss? Andrew has nineteen thousand points. But just in case, don't forget about the Discord invite. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be saying that out here soon. Great, great question slash answer right there. A lot of departments gave give up on responses since you have to rewatch the recordings for every student. They switched to Zoom proctoring. If there's a chance, we could do that instead. Uh, Rocky does have that. That might be, I think, what we might have to do with Chromebooks. So, um, and it's uh, you bring up a really good thing. I was actually uh, you what you mentioned is we. I was actually on a panel or a not a panel, but I was on a a team of people trying to figure this out for the Haslam College of Business. And there's a thing called Proctorio that we might start using, but university kind of said, we're going to figure out the negotiations. Um, say, saw you were working on it. Yeah, you saw that, Tyler. Yeah. And I, I don't know, it feels weird to me. I'm like, oh, I've got this Twitter account for the channel. I'm like, might as well use it. And yeah, and uh, I filed the ticket. Maybe they fixed it, but it's working. Yeah, Tyler. So, and um, you might see me message, you might see me tweet to Jack Black. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a good idea? What do you guys think about me tweeting to Jack Black? I think the tweet's going to be like, here, I'm going to compose it here while I take questions. The tweet's going to be like, I'm going to call Jack Black. I want to call him Jablinski Games. Um, I'm going to be like, uh, heard you're the best at Tony Hawk and teaching rock. But can you beat students in a cahoot you are inv officially invited something like that why is it not like you're you are it's informal so something like that right there i might tweet that out from the account and um you approve approved i had a, a db 504 approved on here Oh, I, I should not, if I play Pokemon on the stream, it will get claimed, I think. I can't play Pokemon while streaming. Um, <laughs> good to see you, Bettist. So, uh, originalization number one, do I just paste the screenshot into Word document? Yep, make sure it's a good screenshot. You got it. Um, the Chromebooks are, are computers that um, are Google computers, and they don't, they're, they're really good computers, but they don't run everything. They don't run Jump, and they can't use Respondus right now. Um, yeah, so I might send that out. looks like it's approved right now statistically oh you are statistically i like that i think we haven't reached the character limit right now and teaching rock gotta do a little little reference right there um uh it'll log the hours for you so streamlabs will track how long you watch for i like this right here heard and teaching rock if you guys have things to this and so i'll, I'll tweet this and like if you want to like it or anything like that, you can. And we just don't don't be like, do it, do it, don't just. I don't want to bug anybody. I don't want anyone to think we're, you know, it's we stay positive and we don't want. If he says yes, that'd be awesome. And it's his call. I mean, he's got his own life. He's doing his own thing. I saw a video today where he he cut off his beard. And he's like, and I was like, whoa. And then he shaved his head. And he, I was like, whoa. So uh, he might be. I don't know if he's preparing for a role or whatever. But he's, yeah, he's he's funny. Kind of, he's a really good YouTube account. I think he's, you know, really fun right there. I'm gonna claim this. <laughs> That's awesome. 
since canvas and Pearson are linked and I've only gone through the process of re resetting my password won't let me log into homework stuff. So what do you suggest? Ian, email me. We have a, my Pearson representative and I'll immediately put you in contact with them and we will get it fixed. And if for some reason your problems uh, persist through like a due date, we allow you to, um, we will, you know, I'll, I'll extend it as in I've had students who have a problem with their account where it's like, they're really trying to fix it. And then we make sure we give you, cause it's like, it's not fair if you're like, Hey, it just won't even load for me. And I'm like, Oh, well too bad. You failed the class. No, we, you know, you just have to tell me you don't want to do it like the night before, like <laughs> the night, the first assignment. So you're like, Brian, my thing is not working. My, my can account. I'm like, oh, why didn't you tell me? Um, I think that's got it. Awesome. So glad to have you here. Benet Patel. You're free to watch and to hang out and be positive. That's what we like. Any other last questions? I might play the the fun. I've got my fun outro right here. Why didn't I go to my, I should have gone to my other screen right here. Yep. Let me post the visualization assignment here. I spent so much time making this. <laughs> so let me post that. Oh, I, I have to stay away from MMOs. Uh, MMO, MMOs could easily take over my life. When I was young, when I was a young man, um, I think when I was, oh, I'm thinking of MCR. <laughs> I heard when I was a young man, but um, I played a game called The Realm, and The Realm was an MMO from Sierra, and <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I got an answer to that, Brock, in a moment. Um, but I started playing The Realm, and it took way too much of my time. And visualizing Simon, let me send that out. Chelsea is doing great. She is, she is, wow, oh, I love her so much. And it's just so cool to like everything she knows. She is like the smartest person I know. And I, I seriously say that she would laugh and think I'm going, I'd be like, no, you really do know so much. And it always amazes me to like see how much she's learning. And she kind of really, I'm looking for that assignment as I talk about this. She really kind of, you know, inspires me to work harder because, you know, it's, I think we all need someone like that in our life who kind of inspires us to like make more videos or do what we're doing. Like I make videos and stuff like that, but I try to work as hard as I can because I don't know, it's, I'm always impressed by what she does. So I'm like, Hey, check out this new video I made. So I get, she gets the preview of all the videos I make. So I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but I'll be like, Hey, I made this new video and I'm, I'm doing this new concept and I'm doing this new thing. And she's just like, that's awesome. Tyler. It's so great. I saw you said something about the, Oh wait, does Tyler know the realm? If you know the realm by Sierra, I'm, I'm shocked. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe my age or something, but, um, we can play a state why a stat why D and D I never got into D and D nothing against D and D. Um, I think because I was born in the eighties, I was on that verge of like tabletop games and I've got nothing against tabletop games, but like I started playing mega man when I was like five or six years old, I started playing uh TIs and, um, not like TI calculators, like a TI Texas instrument home computer. And because of that, um, yeah. And so maybe I'd like it. Like maybe I'd like a good D and D campaign with like a good dungeon. Uh, the person, I don't know. What are they called? Um, you should stream the wedding. on here. <laughs> we see, I don't know. It's so exciting. Yeah. No, we, we've, we've talked about like, we need to get back to Knoxville and have the wedding and all that good stuff. This is just our after class chat right here. So now it's so, it's so good. You guys, you guys give me a whole bunch of energy and you guys will be like my last. No, you guys will be my first class for the week. Cause I do Tuesday, Thursday next, but I think I might have it. I've got a really cool outro and you can see Julio in the outro. So Andrew, hang around here. Andrew, did you see our opening today? Andrew, were you here for the opening? <laughs> and I think I've got the, the long latency on today. I really, I tell you what, we're going to, oh, thank you so much. I'm really, I'm really happy with the opening. It's, I didn't make the opening. I, I commissioned it. So one of the most, oh, that's so awesome, Alexandria. Have a great evening too. Alexander, Alexander, sorry. It, the screen's really far away and they will tell you, oh, if you miss Jason, he's all throughout this. We will end class with this. Remember to email me. Um, so I'm gonna do a different outro right here, but this is kind of my advertise. We are blind buddies. Andrew knows what's going on right here. Andrew and I are blind buddies. You'll see me look at the screen like this. And so we both, I've had two eye surgeries. I think, I don't know if Andrew's had some, I'm trying to remember, but Andrew definitely competes for me with who's blind. <laughs> so but with that said we're going to go ahead right here and we're going to show this so check it out this is just some of the fun we have on this channel and we will have more jason cam back so stay tuned this is some of the fun you'll be in store for with stat 201